Hello everyone, this is Mamta Moon and today we will learn and solve questions 1 to 10 of exercise 9a, chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportion of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9a questions 1 to 10 of chapter 9. Chapter name is ratio of proportion and unitary method and topics are concept of ratio, simplest form of a ratio, equivalent ratios and simplifying ratios. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 1. Write these ratios in the simplest form. First bit is 12 is to 16. 12 is to 16. We can write 12 is to 16 as in the ratio 12 divided by 16. And between 12 is in antecedent and 16 is consequent. Between 12 and 16, 4 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 12 with 4 and the consequent 16 with 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 3 by 4 is the simplest form of the ratio 12 is to 16. Now question number second bit. 72 is to 30. We can write 72 is to 30 as 72 divided by 30. Between 72 and 30. 6 is the common ratio. Now dividing the antecedent 72 with 6 and the consequent 30 with 6. We get 72 divided by 6 is 12. 12 6 is 72 and 30 divided by 6 is 5. Now we get 12 divided by 5. And 12 divided by 5 is the simplest form of the ratio 72 is to 30. When we convert the ratio in the simplest form, we first find out the ratio, uh, common ratio and divide the common ratio with the antecedent and the consequent both. Then the ratio that we get after dividing the antecedent and the consequent, that ratio is the simplest form of the given ratio. Now question number 3rd will 330 is to 550. We can write 330 is to 550 is 330 divided by 550. Now cancelling 0 and 0. Now 30 divided by 5, 55. And between 33 and 55, 11 is the common ratio. So dividing the antecedent 33 with 11 and the consequent 55 with 11. We get 33 divided by 11 is 3 and 55 divided by 11 is 5. Now we get 3 divided by 5 and 3 divided by 5 is the simplest form of the given ratio 330 is to 550. Now fourth bit 0 0.2 is to 0 0.8. 0 0.2 is to 0 0.8 we can write in ratios form 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.8 and between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 2 is the common ratio so dividing the dividing 0 0.2 antecedent 0 0.2 with 0 0.2 and the consequent 0 0.8 with 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 divide in division of 0 0.2 is 1 and 0 0.8 division of 0 0.2 is 4. Now we get 1 divided by 4. And 1 divided by 4 is the simplest form of the ratio 0 0.2 is to 0 0.8. So 1 divided by 4 is the answer. Now question number 5th bit. 1.04 is to 0 0.26. We can write 1.04 is to 1, 0 0.26 is 1.04 divided by 0 0.26. And 1.04 is 104 divided by 100. 
After decimal point, there are two digits. So we have to divide 104 divided by 100. And 0 0.26 is 26 divided by 100. After decimal point, there are two digits. So we have to divide 26 with 100. Division of 26 with 100. Now 104 division of 100 multiplied with reciprocal of 26 divided by 100 is 100 divided by 26. Cancelling 100 and 100 and 26 and 104. Cancelling 26 with 104 is 4. 4, 6, 24, 30, 30, 10. 26 multiplied by 4 is 104. Now we get 4 divided by 4, which is equal to 4 is to 1. And 4 is to 1 is the simplest form or 4 divided by 1 is the simplest form of the ratio 1.04 is to 0 0.26. Now 6th bit, 6 kg is to 40 kg. We can write 6 kg is to 48 kg, 6 kg divided by 48 kg. And between 6 and 48, 6 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 6 with 6 and the consequent 48 with 6. Now 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 48 divided by 6 is 8. Now we get 1 divided by 8 and 1 divided by 8 is the common with the simplest form of the ratio 6 kg is to 48 kg. Now question number 7th bit. 1 centimeter is to 1 millimeter. Convert this ratio in the simplest form. We can write 1 centimeter is to 1 millimeter is 1 centimeter divided by 1 millimeter. And the antecedent here antecedent is 1 centimeter and consequent is 1 millimeter. And 1 centimeter both the antecedent and the consequent are not of the same unit. So first convert this centimeter into millimeter that is converting into same unit so one centimeter we know one centimeter is 10 millimeter divided by one millimeter and 10 divided by one is 10 is to one and 10 is to one is the simplest form of the ratio one centimeter is to one millimeter eighth bit 20 millimeter is to 1 liter. We can write 20 millimeter milliliter is to 1 liter is 20 ml divided by 1 liter. 1 liter. And the antecedent 20 ml and the consequent 1 liter are not of the same unit. So first convert this consequent liter into milliliter. Then after that that uh, liter and milliliter are of the same unit that is milliliter convert to milliliter and we know 1 liter is 1000 milliliter so write down 1 liter is 1000 ml milliliter now between 20 and 1000 20 is the common ratio so divide the ratio 20 antecedent 20 with 20 and the consequent 1000 with 20. Now 20 divided by 20 is 1 and 1000 divided by 20 is 50. Now 1 divided by 50 is 1 is to 50. And 1 is to 50 is the simplest form of the ratio 20 ml is to 1 liter. Now ninth bit, 300 meter is to 1 kilometer. Convert this ratio in the simplest form. We can write 300 meter is to 1 kilometer is 300 meter divided by 1 kilometer. And the antecedent 300 meter and the consequent 1 kilometer are not of the equal unit. So first convert this consequent kilometer into meter. And we know 1 kilometer is 1000 meter. 
300 meter divided by 1000 meter. Now both the antecedent and the consequent are of the equal unit, that is meter. So 300 divided by 1000 is cancelling on zeros to zeros and now 3 divided by 10. And 3 divided by 10 is equal to 3 is to 10. And 3 is to 10 is the simplest form of the ratio 300 meter is to 1 kilometer. Now x bit, 10th bit, 1 hour is to 20 minute. We can write 1 hour is to 20 minute is 1 hour divided by 20 minute. Both the antecedent and the consequent are not of the equal unit. So first converting this hour into minute so that the antecedent and the consequent are of the equal unit. We know 1 hour is 60 minute divided by 20 minute. Now both the antecedent and the consequent are of, are of this equal unit that is of minute. So 60 divided by 20. And between 60 divided by 20, 60, 20 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 60 with 20 and the consequent 20 with 20. Now 60 divided by 20 is 3 and the consequent 20 is 2 divided by 20 is 1. Now 3 divided by 1 is 3 is to 1. And 3 is to 1 is the simplest form of the ratio 1 hour is to 20 minutes. Now 11th bit, 73 days is to 1 year. Convert this ratio into the simplest form. We can write 73 days is to 1 year is 73 days divided by 1 year. And the antecedents 73 days and the consequent 1 year are not of the equal unit. So first convert this consequent one year into days. Converting year into days so that the uh, consequent year and days are of the equal unit. And we know one year is 365 days. So 73 days divided by 365 days. And between 73 and the con between the antecedent 73 and the consequent 365, 73 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 73 with 73 and the consequent 365 with 73. And 73 divided by 73 is 1 and the consequent 365 with 73 is 5. 73 divided by 73 is 1 and 365 divided by 73 is 5. Now we get 1 divided by 5 that is 1 is to 5. And 1 is to 5 is the simplest form of the ratio 73 days is to 1 year. Now 12th bit. 5 rupees is to 50 pesa. We can write 5 rupees is to 50 pesa is 5 rupees divided by 50 Pesa. And the antecedent high rupees and the consequent 50 pesa are not of the equal unit. So first convert this antecedent rupees into pesa so that the antecedent and the consequent both are of if both are of will be the equal unit. Both will be the equal unit. So we know 1 rupees 5 rupees will 1 rupees is 100 pesa so 5 rupees will be 500 pesa 500 pesa divided by 50 pesa and between 500 and 50 the antecedent 500 and the consequent 50 50 is the common ratio so we divide the antecedent 500 with 50 and the consequent 50 with 50 now 500 divided by 50 is 10 and 50 divided by 50 is 1. So we get 10 is to 1 and 10 is to 1 is the simplest form of the ratio 5 rupees is to 50 pesa.
so when we convert the ratios in, into the simplest form first find out the common ratio after uh, after finding the common ratio divide the antecedent and the consequent both with the common ratio and after dividing the antecedent and the consequent with the common ratio that the ratio the ratio that we get that is the simplest form of the given ratio keep learning keep watching and please visit my blog maxgrade.com link is in here https www this is my blog link and join my telegram group this is my telegram group link and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you if you like this video then please click the like button and share it if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos If you have any doubts then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.